So Father, I thank you that we can still pray for Julius Malema because that's what you said we must do. And as we take this step today, Father, I thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you that you speak to us. You said you speak to the prophets first and then you speak, then the people will know what is happening. And you are speaking to this nation, Lord. I thank you today, Lord, for this awesomeness as I walk this road. Um, I just want to show you. Thank you, Father. I'm just going to show you my feet and what I have to walk through. I hope that you can see what I'm showing you. And um, this road has never been like this before. It's almost like I'm walking on the beachfront. <laughs> For some of you that get the, get the story, that's how South Africa is at the moment. It was never like this before. It was never so complicated. It was never so difficult. It was never so challenging. And uh, if I can just bring you some hope. Don't give up. Haman will try and rise. Doesn't matter who you are. Haman has always used that spirit of Amalek. Has always gone into that person. Rested on that person. Whispered in that person's ear to destroy man. Especially God's children. And um, it's not going to happen in our country. I know God is with us. I know there's many Esthers out there. Thank you, Lord, that the Esthers will arise. They are not a female only, but they are male as well, because it's not about gender, yeah, Lord. It's really about you, Father. You want the queens of this earth to arise and the kings of this earth to arise with us to go and speak out and not be silent. It is our time. If you're a man, and I just mention it to you, it is our time. And if you are a man and you felt that this calling was not for you, I need to remind you that Esther stood in the gap for the nation. And um, we need to stand in. It was her nationality. It was the, the Jewish people. And you need to arise. I'm calling all the men of South Africa that you please stand with me. Let us not make this my thing or your thing. Let's make it South Africa's call from the Father that we come and come against Haman that wants to stand up and destroy our nation. Julius, let me pray with you. I really, uh, I'm going to go. You said you're the man of the soil. So for you, I'm going to go on my knees for you. And uh, this is not an act. I'm not trying to get any favor from anybody. I'm just trying to get to your heart. Because just like me, Julius, we have a call for this country. I hope your call is going to change to love because my call is to bring love back into this nation. And so if you and I have to stand against each other, it will be the same as what Haman was with Esther. Um, and the call for my, for my life is to call this country back and to stop killing, murdering one another. So I hope you can stand with me. And we can actually raise a new nation, not because of, because of position or pride, but because we love our country. I don't know how much you love South Africa. I don't love money. I love South Africa. Money will come to solve, build the kingdom of God here on earth. I'm not interested in anything else. So yes, Julius, I'm going to say pray for you and I hope you can pray it with me. I'm going to go on my knees in the sand. And uh, I mean every word I'm saying. It's in the road, it's not in my house, it's not private. Like many people say, it is my personal life. Nee, dit is nie Jesus Christus. Het a persoonlijke leven op die kruis vir jou gestuur wou. Dis tyd dat ons, ons land weer terugvat vir Jesus. Maar met liefde nie met hart nie. Julius, I love you. I love you, I love you because Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. I'm just going to go down on my knees so you don't think I'm talking nonsense. I want you to see, there's the road. I don't have any shoes. I walk through this country for, especially for you and other people. And whoever wants to go on their knees for with me, <coughs> let's do it. That souls will be saved in South Africa. That our nation's leaders that are in parliament, that are really saying they want to make change, they want to do something, even our president. 
that um, we will believe every word they say in the future, that they will stop lying to this nation and they will speak the truth. Julius, I'm going to lead you in prayer. You can decide to do it with me or you can reject what I say. But I'm going to pray for you and I'm just going to say, Father God, I bring Julius Malima to you right now. Father, I ask you that he will pray with me this prayer. Lord Jesus and everybody out there that wants to see us a change in our nation, Lord. Because love does conquer all. I thank you, Father, today that I can bring Julius to you. And I can hand him to you and say, Father, have your will with Julius Malema. And every Haman in our country, every Haman in our country, Father, the BLF that's standing up, their leader, they, they, everybody that is standing up with the Haman spirit, Father, I denounce it right now and I say it will not happen in South Africa. Abba, Father, I ask you for grace. I ask you to take the scales of Julius Malema's eyes like it happened with Paul that was Saul. I ask you that you will have a Damascus encounter, Father. I thank you right now, Jesus, come into his life, Father. May he surrender to you, Lord. May he surrender to you, Father. May he see you as the king of this nation and not himself. And everybody else that wants to be a Haman, that they will submit. Right now, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will do a mighty work. That we will build this nation to be a beautiful nation. And not a warring nation, but a lovable nation. So that the world can see that this is truly a Christian nation. This is a Judeo-Christian nation filled with the Father's love. And as each one that is listening to my voice, including Julia, surrenders, Father, I pray that he will. I cannot do it for him, Father. I can just lead him and guide him and hold his hand and say, Julius, let's do South Africa together. Let's change South Africa together. Let's get rid of those that are talking rubbish in our ears. And Father, I ask you that he will say just a, a simple prayer today. Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, I cannot do this on my own anymore. I need to be your son. And those that are listening that are daughters. I need to be your daughter. You need to be my friend. I ask you, Father, right now that you will do a mighty, mighty work. Mighty, mighty work, Father. Mighty work. On our knees. South Africans, will you please go on your knees? Let's do it together. Let's, let's take South Africa and let us just worship the King and let us just thank Him for what He's going to do with our leaders. I'm praying for Parliament. I don't know about you, but I hope you are as well because they're leading us. If we stay exempt from Parliament, we're not going to have a new nation because we're leaving a gap. And where there's a gap, the enemy will take it. Father, I thank you that as I rise out of the soil, bring back the word that you gave me earlier on for Julius. Father, like a seed, it needs to be sown. It needs to be planted. And that seed, when it goes into the ground, it needs to sprout up. You are the water, Father. You are the water of life, Father. You are the water of life. And only with your water will Julius rise and become a new man. I thank you, Father, that you have spoken. This is your word. This is your prophetic word over him. You love him. You care for him. He's not without a friend. You are his best friend. You are his king. You are his everything. I thank you, Lord. That um, I just want to get the view here. Father, thank you, Lord, that you're bringing this, the sun to actually shine again. That is God's love for this country. And this country is not for sale. Not to the highest bidder. It only is available to the children of Jesus Christ. Those that believe in the God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Thank you for the, the sun that is actually coming brighter and brighter. Thank you for your love for this nation, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May people believe in you again Lord may people believe in you again Lord thank you for rising over our nation thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord for rising over our nation